Now this, like bees shunning honey, it says, like bees shunning honey. That's at least what one person says after North Face refusing to make jackets for a Texas oil and gas company, reportedly because it didn't want to be associated with the fossil fuel business. But there's just one problem. Listen to this. 60% of all clothing fibers are made out of oil and gas. For North Face, it is likely 90% or more. So North Face is not only an extraordinary customer of the oil and gas industry, they are also a partner with the oil and gas industry. So there you go. Great stuff. That was a uh, campaign to highlight the ridiculous hypocrisy of North Face not wanting to make jackets or provide jackets to an oil and gas company in Texas. Who better to get into this to talk about how woke the uh, the world has become and even an American company, Steve Forbes, Forbes Media Chairman, you're smiling wryly, Steve. I mean, this is just the latest example of how ridiculous it's become. North Face not wanting to be associated with oil and gas. Do you know how many products come from oil and gas and then petroleum and so on? It's ridiculous. It is. When you look at uh, nylon, plastics, the rope they uh, sell, right. uh, the fabrics they sell, they couldn't have survived without oil and natural gas. And so the, they, these people have to be called to account in connecting the dots. Mm. Where does that company get the energy to manufacture? Probably oil and gas. Mm -hmm. So they couldn't live without it. Moreover, when they talk about, well, we want alternative energies, let's look at what that means in terms of minerals. If we replaced oil and gas today with the, uh, with the wind and the solar, we'd have a 40% increase alone in lithium. That and uh, other mining uh, such as copper, graphite, uh, not to mention cobalt, mm -hmm. which is controlled by China. They, these things would rip up the Earth's surface, 25-fold increase in mining, if you really wanted to uh, have wind farms everywhere and replace oil and gas. So environmentally, uh, these alternatives are environmentally unsound, unsafe. Uh, they use child labor for cobalt in Central Africa and elsewhere. So mm -hmm. let's connect the dots with these people and call them on it when they posture like that. Oh, we're virtuous. No, you're not. Look at the consequences of what you're proposing. <laughs> I mean, why would a company think it's a good idea to make a statement like that? Just stay out of it. Do what you do best. Make products that people like and buy. I just don't understand how at the very highest levels of these companies, they think taking a stand to appeal to a few woke people is a good idea. Well, I think it's uh, no cost uh, grandstanding, cheap grandstanding. And, uh, but yeah. I think more and more people are going to call them to account on it. Uh, how do you make your product? Uh, you want to go back to how they made rope 300 years ago? Good luck with that. <laughs> yeah. Or climbing a mountain in wool. Boy, no, no, no fun right. on those old clothes. Wool. <laughs> By the way, we did reach out to North Face for a comment. We have not uh, heard back. But for